I'm John Lehman, the owner of Lehman Geophysical, and today I'm gonna to show you a way to save yourself a lot of money and heartache, and that is to go buy a torque screwdriver. So when you're dealing with really small fasteners, they're easy to twist off. This is especially true of socket head cap screws, especially if the fasteners are something that's like aluminum, that's a much softer material than you might be used to working with. So the torque screwdriver is like a torque wrench, but for screws. This particular one is a good budget screwdriver. It's from Husky. I picked it up at Home Depot for I believe around $80. And it's an okay tool. It has a locking bit holder on the front. You have to lock the bit in and it holds it pretty securely and you can change and use any standard quarter inch bit. Now, of course you can spend as much as you want to on a Torx screwdriver, but for most applications, something like this is going to be just fine. So torque on screws, we're normally talking about very low values. So we're looking at something in the range of inch pounds. Let's say, you know, 10, 20 inch pounds for a small fastener. So that's really easy to overdo by hand when you are engaging the screw and bearing down on it and just twist the head right off the screw. So how does this work? Well, inside there are some strain gauges on this shaft that are measuring how much the shaft deforms when we torque the screw down and they translate that into a calibrated torque value on the screen and it warns us when we're approaching and then exceeding that value. Now I will say this particular screwdriver has a few annoying features in that setting it is not the most intuitive and it has a very loud beeper as you'll hear. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use it. So I'm gonna turn it on. It showed my maximum torque that I can achieve with a screwdriver and then it goes into the main screen. If I press mode, there you hear that really loud beep and I get a red LED. Now I can change it between peak and track mode. So peak mode is gonna show me what the peak torque on this was, whereas track mode is just going to continually show me the current value. Peak will show you the current value too though, but it will store it. I'm gonna press the button again and it lets you set different units inch pounds, kilogram centimeters, or centinewton meters. Inch pounds are what we use here. I'm in the US, so we're still stuck with that system. I'm gonna press the mode button again and set my torque, press it again, and hit power. Now my LED is gone, and I've set to 12 inch pounds of torque. So I'm gonna put this in my screw, and as I'm increasing the torque, The red means that I went a little bit over. I'll try to go a little bit slower this time. Okay, green means I'm there. Red means I went over. And that says my peak was 13.5 inch pounds. So again, this is a great way to make sure that your fasteners are tight so that they don't come loose from things like vibration, but that they aren't also damaged in the process of installing them. Thing to keep in mind is most torques, unless otherwise specified, are for clean, dry threads. So you need to make sure that what you're torquing, those threads are nice and clean. They're not full of field grime or lab grime. And you shouldn't apply a lubricant to the threads as that can result in over torquing of the fastener unless it's specified for your application. So I hope that you found this useful and that you'll go pick up a torque screwdriver and stop busting off heads of screws and save yourself some time, money, and frustration. If you found this useful, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And if you need precision lab instrumentation or want us to build something custom for your laboratory, check out our website at lehmangeophysical.com.